All right, hi everybody. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your Firefox look a lot better um, using this really cool feature called Firefox CSS. Now you can see that my Firefox right now looks very, very similar to uh, Chrome. Uh, I personally, I prefer how Chrome looks, but I, as a browser, I prefer Firefox. Um, so I decided to get the best of both worlds and mix them together. Um, if you don't believe me, I'll open up Firefox and there it is. It looks like that. Uh, now you don't just have to make it look like Chrome. In fact, you can make it look like pretty much anything you want. Um, as long as you know CSS, uh, you have as much power as you want. And if you don't know CSS, then you can just take somebody else's configuration. Uh, now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, there is this really cool subreddit called Firefox CSS. And essentially what it is, is it's kind of similar to other communities online about customizing your desktop, um, specifically Linux, but it's specifically for Firefox. Um, so you can see... All these different people have created these very nice looking configurations for for their Firefox, you know? Um, that looks very, very different. Well, some of them look different, some of them look pretty similar, but um, they're all heavily customized. And the awesome thing is, is that it's very, very easy for you to just simply get one of these configurations. So... Um, the way this works is there's two files that uh, typically every um, every configuration will have. It's a, a user Chrome CSS and a user content CSS. Usually the user content isn't very important, but it's there, you know. Um, it can just give you a few extra little details that you wouldn't get with the user Chrome. Okay, so to actually enable this, um, before you go ahead and mess with any CSS files, what you need to do is head over to this about colon config in your URL bar and hit OK. Um, it's going to bring up this this alert, but it, it's fine. It's You're only going to be changing one setting and it doesn't, it doesn't mess with anything. So you want to paste this in here. Um, I'll don't worry. I'll leave it in the description and all you want to do is double click it until it's true now all this does is enables the ability for Firefox to read um, Like custom user made style sheets, which is exactly what we want because that way we can customize our Firefox our Firefox with our user Chrome dot CSS um, now for just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to be using this config, the slickfox config, because it's uh, it's easy to set up and I really like how it looks. So let's go ahead and clone this git repository. So just open up a new terminal, type in git clone, and paste the, the GitHub link or GitLab link for whatever configuration you want. Um, your configuration, depending on who's providing it, might have some sort of install script or specific instructions. So if they have that, make sure to follow it. But if it doesn't, then you should be fine just following along with what I'm doing. So after you've cloned it into whatever folder you want, you want to get the user Chrome. And if there's a user content.css, you want to get that too. Go ahead and copy it then you want to head over to open up a new tab and type about profiles now I have a few different profiles but this one that I'm on is completely default I made it specifically for this video and it doesn't have any extra changes um, and we can see here there is this directory oh, excuse me, this directory right here and that's where we want to go for to put our, our CSS file. So you want to go to your home folder, of course, and then head over to 
dot Mozilla right here. Open up Firefox and then open up whatever this is. It's different depending on what what profile you're using, but make sure it's the one that you're using um, because if you apply it to another one, then it's not going to show up. So open that up and then all we have to do is create a new folder, call it Chrome, enter the folder and paste our file. So that's going to put our CSS file in there and now all we have to do is ideally just close Firefox, open it up again, and sorry, this is my old config. Uh, let me open up the default one, and there we go. You can see it looks a lot better. Um, now, of course, like you saw, there were a ton of other different configurations and stuff, and of course, you can choose those from whatever you like. Um, and if you know a little bit of CSS or a lot of CSS, then what you can do is actually create your own or just modify somebody else's. So you can see here, um, depending on the, the configuration, of course, it's going to have a lot of different, it could be very organized or it could be very messy. But you can see here, it's generally pretty standard CSS, honestly. Um, it just you know, selects classes and then chooses whatever um, whatever property you want, you know. So like here, it's setting the height for the menu, um, setting the opacity, whatever. Um, the only important thing that you should know is um, Firefox, of course, creates their own styling. And in order to overwrite that styling, you need the important tag. Uh, now, if you don't know um, anything about CSS, basically what that does is just um, essentially it just creates a new rule that overwrites any following rules. Um, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, you need to have the important tag here to overwrite any styling that Mozilla provided for Firefox by default. And, I mean, that's about it when it comes to the, the styling and making your browser look cool with Firefox CSS. Of course, there are some other customizations you can do um, that are just built into Firefox, but those don't provide nearly as much control as actually going in and messing with the CSS. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment. I'll hopefully answer any of them that I can. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you.